Welcome back. It's been a busy week here at the shop. Been working on some uh, outside projects. Uh, in addition to the concrete being laid and uh, all the uh, ditches we're trying to put in for drainage, uh, kind of take you a tour around and show you what's happening. Well, got to do something about this mess. I think that'll fit the bill perfectly. I'm going to move all that out, slide that into place. A lot of that's going to the dump. All that's going on the racks. Lots more work to do. How the concrete's turned out. Got to come over and regrade all this to where it's kind of going down this way. Move all the trailers back out of the way. We had four inches of rain last night. I'm happy to say my little drainage product's working out okay. Got another load of gravel coming. We can gravel this all well. Trying out a new product. All of that is screened limestone. Doesn't have the dust and dirt in it that this limestone does. All the little drainage worked well last night. Got to put a catch basin here, run over to there, and we're going to sink that into the ground, and that's where all the pipes will go, and we'll put a big pump in it. Pond filled up last night. Four and a half inches of rain does pretty good. I guess it's four. You can see here all the water drains down in here, and we're going to put that catch basin in. Go on over there. A lot of pipe to. Problem not, you know, we've got a lot of elevation, but I just can't run a drain through here. And there's so many lines coming from the shop going over to the house that it's just a plus sewer line is the main one. All the others I could ride around, but there's a sewer that goes all the way under to that carport. Drain currently comes out here. And my wife says it's rotting her grass. So wife's lemon trees, a little garden around the back. Woman's got a green thumb. So from here down to the pond's not that far. So we'll just run about 200 foot of pipe out. Got the last of the two bee stands all welded up. Just gotta wait till it dries out and go plant them. And then all this stuff can be over on the rack, too. She'll be happy and off my case. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to do some lathe work. My bees were in a pretty big storm last night. And let me show you this. We feed our bees by having a hole in top of their hive. And we fill these quart jars with little holes up and we stick them on over there. Well, I have three new hives and the wind has blown the bottles off. So my wife has determined that I am to fix this too sweet. And, uh, you know, I follow orders pretty good. Most of the time. 
Anyway, I'm going to make a ring that goes around this and then we'll insert into that hole and that way it won't let it shift around and we can cover it up pretty easy. Um, well, today's project's going to be a little different. This is my glass jar and this is a piece of old nylon I had laying around. I'm going to bore a hole in this so that fits down inside and captures it so it can't go this way. And this will be about an inch and a half uh, thick piece here and it'll be neck down to where it can go into that hole. So we've got to through bore it, counter bore on one side and then turn the other side off. Uh, I'm using this nylon because A, it was free, B, I don't want to use up any of my aluminum stock on it. When you don't use a lot of stock in production, uh, little pieces become very valuable. Today we got to change over the lathe. Mr. Four Jaw Chuck is in the way. in there where it says lock there's a little line right there it has to be lined up pretty well this goes into that hole when you turn this lock it cams into that little space there and locks it in place Now, this isn't what you call precision work. Basically, I've got to have a hole big enough for this to slide in, which measure it out here. Go sideways like this. Oh, there won't be any problems. Two point eight six. So two point eight six is one dimension. <laughs> I took that drill and drilled a hole. Because these things aren't very precision either and they wobble and so the hole size you get may be different. So we're at 2.86 and it's got to fit inside a 2.2 inch ten thousandths. So if we make this two inches on the outside it should fit right in there. We will see. Decided to get a chalkboard and draw it out for you. Basically, we're going to make a disc. This dimension is going to be two inches. outside. This dimension I don't really care about as long as it's bigger than the one we have to do. Um, I 
this dimension in here needs to be leave a quarter inch on each side say one and five eighths then this dimension this is looking down through it this is a through hole this will be the shoulder that the lid fits into it'll fit like this that dimension needs to be 2.85 I think we can make that happen a lot of times these projects get real drawn out by sitting there putting them on CAD and everything else this is just simple stuff it's warm in here first thing I think we'll do is mark off what we want I'm going to say that that needs to be three quarters of an inch then three quarters of an inch so we'll make this an inch and a half So, right off I can tell that stock's too far in. We'll make three of these. So we'll just start out here. I really don't care though indicated in or anything because when we turn this it's going to take up the machine coordinates instead of the workpiece coordinates so that's all we really need to do on this part first thing we're going to do is drill a hole we need a hole what size drill bit we can get to do this well I had really thought I had ordered or found some big drill bits I always needed something like a two inch I don't have one. Someday on eBay I'll find a reasonably priced one. All right. I'm gonna drill this hole to five inches deep. That way I don't go all the way through the material in case I ever need it for something else and I can make three inch and a half thick inch pieces. Then we'll bore out the rest of it. do this without doing a pilot hole. Just getting this started so I can bore.
I'll be able to use those for something. Two-speed tail stock sure makes life easier. You guys are gonna have to move back. Give it a shot. That's good. It's hot in here. It's noisy enough with the, the machines running, so I turn off the air conditioner while we're doing stuff like this. Now I need to mark up where I want to cut. We want to make this a total of inch 0.5 and then this one is going to be 0 0.75. This 
it's nylon soft but it's very abrasive let the machine take that last cut because it's you know I'm kind of hogging it off and it's leaving little ridges and so the machine can do a nice even cut there's we need 55,000 
Okay. I don't really care what the outside diameter is, so I'm just going to part that off. And then we'll chuck, turn it around and chuck it up on this part and bore the inside after we finish doing the others. So, been a fan of these kind of parting tools. Pretty close. I remember if this was metal this would be a whole different ball game but why I'm not a big fan of this kind of parting tool. For some reason it always it just can't get tight enough for some reason. Much safer. Probably quicker too. Let's go back where it's a little cooler. Watch your step, watch your step. Where you guys want to be there? Motion detected at the driveway. Motion detected at the driveway. Motion detected at the driveway. Very energetic people in my driveway. You guys have never gone over to the SV Seeker channel. Head on over there. A guy named Doug has been building a sailboat in his front yard for about the last 10, 12 years. It's almost through. And that's where I got the idea for that motion detected. I went up there this March and was working on the boat there. And I noticed that he had an Alexa unit inside the boat, inside his house, inside the workshop. 
and he had a ring doorbell set up at his gate. Now you got to understand the guy is sort of a minor celebrity in Tulsa and people from all over the world show up at his gate. So, he's had to limit the times people can come in and you know he's sitting inside this boat or workshop and he can't see people. So he put that system in. I've always been kind of a, not a fan of Alexa. But frankly, after I figured out they could see where I've been for like the last four years on my cell phone, it just really doesn't matter anymore. So I came back, bought five Alexas and stuck them around. There we go. detected at the driveway. Now every time somebody comes to the front, I can tell. All right, all we got left to do now is bore this little bit out to a... Uh, size that the jar can fit in. Go shut the door. And believe me, just as soon as you guys leave, I'm turning the air conditioner on. Face this off with this. It's got a geometry that might work well. It's not metal. I'm just trying to get through it. Plan A has just failed miserably. So we're going to plan B. This little area here is just too thin to chunk up tightly on. See, that helps.
go in the hole. And then the jar will fit on top. Wind won't blow it around. Guys, tired of watching me mess around with my lathe. Got three of these now, and when I find some more material, I'm going to take and cut a plug that'll fit over this, so we can take this off the jar off. Just put a plug in there real quick. Make the bees happy. We're right in the middle of our biggest honey flow of the year, lemon bee balm. And we make a varietal honey so that after this is over, we harvest and let the bees have all the food for the rest of the year. Makes a very nice honey. And uh, people like it. Thanks for watching. I love having a lathe. Got the very first... of it out there. I wouldn't call it a lot, but there's definitely some. And you can see the white, wherever you see the white, that's what that is. That's yeah. the horse mint. Right. Horse mint and frog, that's what we got. It's our best crop for the bees. Yeah. Frogs, too bad they're so Frogs, little. I wish bees could eat frogs. They're too little to do frog legs. We could try. Well, I'm hoping that that field there comes up with some of the horse mint that they... It may come up later so that it'll be staggered, yeah. which would be nice. See, we got some back here. Okay. She's going to...
Ta da! Get the next one. I did. Thank you. Always one in every crowd. Huh? Yeah. They're doing pretty good. What is this, two weeks now? It was the 8th of May, so I don't, I kind of lose track. I don't know how long it's been. It might be almost three. Well, they've already, that first one on the ends already needed a new top yeah, it box. Definitely needed it. And these I would give some, one day later this week when it's not raining. I'll come out and check it again and see. This is the weakest. That's the one I'm kind of concerned about. This one was doing pretty good, but still had a couple of frames that were not filled out. One, you know, one or two frames is okay, but really I, you know, I don't want them all filled out, but one or two. Anyway, they're doing all right. We need to figure out where we're gonna put the next stand. Over there in front of that pile of wood and stuff would be good. Yeah, with this rain, after they've mowed their pasture, we might get second crop. The, hor the horsemen coming up just and staggered like a couple of weeks later, which would actually be kind of good. Kind of extend it. Let's back off. Let me get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> Good choice. He has decided to hitch a ride. Uh, he probably was on here He's already. He's on here already. He's he needs going. to get off of here so He's I don't saying. zap him. Is he up here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want him to go down by the pond. I, if he, I don't want to squish him. Uh, he's gone. There he is. He's right there. I just don't want to drive over. I don't want him to jump and me drive over him. He's on the tire now. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can, can make him, him really dizzy. No. Where is he? <laughs> Good. Whoa! Hold still. Hold still. Whoa! <laughs> Good You could have thrown him from here. He would have made it. That's I don't even know that he really likes to be in the water. Well, it's a real easy way to find out. Just gonna put him close to the water. <laughs> <laughs> 